Hello everyone and welcome back to 9 by 9 My name is Alan and this is the Relish in the Moment podcast. Um, uh, somehow, this is uh, the second week that I'm doing it and I haven't missed a week yet. Good. Uh, somehow, somehow, uh, I... I am finding the motivation to continue doing this, and it's, um, I mean, like, the whole process is really fun, especially since it's a lot easier than doing a lot of other things on the internet, like video making and, like, even streaming. This is, like, somehow easier than streaming. Uh, it's a lot, I don't know, I don't know if it's actually a lot more stressful because... Uh, at least in streaming, I can, like, pause and mute the microphone and, like, take a break. And, like, I don't necessarily have to continue talking here. I'm a lot more pressured to continue talking. Uh, but whatever. It's still fun. It's still a lot more enjoyable than, like, sitting through, like, an edit for three hours. Uh, now I only have to sit through and edit for, like, ten minutes, because, you know, I just have to, like, trim off the ends, and, like, if I do take a long pause, then I'll just have to trim that down, which doesn't really take long at all, and really the only time that it takes is, like, rendering time, which even then, with my new computer, uh, it doesn't take all that long, maybe, like, five minutes for, like, half an hour, uh, if that uh, if it was on my old computer, like my old laptop, it would have taken like an hour and a half for like 20 minutes of whatever. It doesn't even need to be like just uh, audio or just video, like anything really. It takes like five times the length of whatever you're trying to render out. Uh, but anyways, uh, as you can see or hear... I don't have a guest with me today because none of my friends are up to the task of uh, setting up their end and like, I don't know, I don't know, they they seem to not want to do it this week, um, which I'm okay with, I'm okay with doing this alone even if I have to do it for like a dozen episodes before they feel like they want to join in, um, a friend of mine uh, seems to be making his own podcast. I don't know if uh, if there's any kind of collaboration in the future. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but a couple got a couple of uh, talking points, a little some topics that I can get into. Uh, I started, you know, I I didn't know that it was going to be my New Year's resolution to start learning other languages, but I guess uh, it just kind of happened. I downloaded Duolingo. I've heard, like, a lot of people talking about it. Um, A lot of people have been using it, I guess, and uh, it teaches a lot of different languages. I just started Spanish, so, you know, uh, yo, yo soy... El hombre, which means I'm learning Spanish and I'm pretty much a master at it already. Uh, no, it means I, I am the man, which it's it, it, both translations are pretty accurate in my opinion. Um, so that that's kind of fun. I started the intro and then I moved on to like some different phrases like, uh, gracias and like all kinds of like the the greetings and little phrases like that it's not like i mean i've only done it for three days so i'm starting slow i'm not really diving into it i have so much that i'm trying to do each and every day now Uh, i got a calendar to make sure that i'm i'm exercising an okay amount Uh, i'm kind of just keeping mind that i'm i try not to sit all the time because you know uh me i i sit down a lot if i don't have anything else to do 
Uh, usually I'm just at my computer and I need to like kind of remind myself to stand up and walk around and stuff. Uh, it helps that I have water and I continuously drink that and, you know, water just, you know, my cup needs refilling. So a quick walk to the bathroom and to my refrigerator where I get my water, uh, it, it helps, especially if I don't fill my cup all the way, like if I fill it up just like halfway up, you know, and I drink it and like frequent visits to my kitchen, that really helps, uh, helps me keep on my feet instead of just sitting all the time. Uh, I got a, a calendar, which I've started to like mark off every day that I've done a little bit of exercise and like getting up and walking. I don't necessarily count that. I've been trying to like do push ups or like sit ups or like some other kind of like resistance exercise where I actually feel some kind of challenged in it. Uh, and also on that calendar, I'm kind of. Well, actually, I don't need to because Duolingo, like, monitors that for you. Like, it gives you, like, an everyday tracker. So, like, if you do it, like, if you do the app, it tracks, like, every day that you complete, like, I think it's, like, two or three of its lessons, which are pretty easy. They're pretty fun. Um, not that I'm sponsored by the app or anything, but if... I, if Duolingo wants to sponsor the app, sponsor the podcast, then, uh, sure, I'll accept that. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I endorse it. I, I think it's pretty cool. So if you want to try it out, if you want to learn Spanish or French or German or whatever other languages that it offers, um, feel free to try it. Uh, Let's see, one, a couple other things I wanted to talk about that happened this week. Um, mask, oh yeah, uh, mask, masked, for some reason I can't say the K, masked singer uh, happened. I think it was last, I think it's every Wednesday, but obviously I didn't talk about it uh, last podcast, even though I did release it on Wednesday. Um, I record these on, like, usually, like, Sunday to Tuesday before Wednesday, and then I have it ready to be released on Wednesday. Um, a Masked Singer happened, which, it started in Korea, but they have, like, a, an American version right now, and, it, I mean, it's pretty cool, it's not, I feel like it's not as fun as the Korean version, I've seen some videos of it. But that's mostly because the American version right now is, like, really produced. It's, like, overproduced. And, like, the judges aren't even judges. Like, they're just figureheads for whatever producers want them to say. It's kind of weird. And, I mean, I guess because it's we're in America and we have, like, a, a lot of different skin tones... Uh, the Korean version doesn't really have, like, the intense costumes that this American version has, uh, because I guess, you know, everyone kind of has the same pale skin over there, so they don't really need to cover up because they're not going to give any clues as to, like, who people are, whereas over here, you know, like, if someone's black and has a particular voice, uh, it, it gives a lot of clues. Whereas, like, you know, oh, not being able to see their skin tone. Um, so far, I mean, I didn't even guess the hippo, which turned out was Antonio Brown for the... Forgot what team he was on. But, I mean, I'm not really a football fan, but... So I don't really... I don't really know. I wouldn't even know if... If they freaking give, gave me, like, a lot of clues... I, uh, I do have a strong feeling about the monster, which is obviously T Pain. Uh, mixtape, then he fell off, and then he he's making a comeback. Yeah, it, it's definitely T Pain. Um, especially like 
Like, I don't think the auto-tune auto -tune for him uh, necessarily helps anyone. If anything, it, it helps people guess who he is because he sounds like T-Pain with auto-tune. But then, obviously, his normal voice is freaking cool. Like, I love his singing voice. Uh, if you've heard his natural singing voice and then you watch the monster's performance, it's obviously T-Pain. But obviously, they're not going to reveal him. Uh, hmm, what else? I mean, I, I also kind of think that it was it's a weird choice to only have four judges on that kind of show in the on the south on the the korean version i don't know if i should call it south korean version or whatever but Co the korean version has like 10 different judges so like you have a bunch of people just spouting out random guesses and it's a lot more fun that way i think instead of having like robin thick say the same thing over and over again and like um, Melissa McCarthy just saying like whatever the producers want him to say um, not too big of a fan having Ken Jong on it just because he makes the same kind of just I don't know just like the corniest tasteless jokes uh, Nicole Scherzinger is really the only person that deserves to be on a show like that um, uh, and I don't know. I I think that it, it it'll be a fun show to watch, but I'm definitely not going to give them like the live ratings. I'm not going to watch it live. I'll probably just watch it on like Hulu or something. It is on Hulu. That's where I saw the first episode. So I think it's definitely a show to just kind of watch for fun. I mean, all of these talent shows are just kind of watch for fun material, not really like a lot of them aren't just, I think the most competitive one I've seen is like The Voice, but really other than that, that's it. Like earlier, like early American Idol was really fun to watch and like see people progress, but even that, that had like, uh, like an agenda to it. Obviously this show doesn't have like rookie talent trying to be singers like it has some rookies but then it has who most people think are like veteran singers like i think the lion uh for a lot of people uh people are thinking it's kelly Rowland from destiny's child and she's like a experienced singer so i mean she's she i mean i don't know what else to say about her but like it's not like she can get more famous. Like, she's already done so much in her music career that, like, you know, it's not like some nobody from, like, Arkansas that is trying out and, like, trying to make it big with, like, a record deal or anything, you know? Um, but other than that, that's, like, it's fun. It's a fun show. Just like Duolingo, I kind of kind of endorse it, you know? What I definitely do endorse that uh, was released, I think, two nights ago. I'm recording this on Tuesday, so I think it was on Sunday where it was released, like around the time of the Golden Globes. I might be wrong, but the Captain Marvel trailer, or like it was like a sneak peek, uh, that dropped. I saw it on Twitter, which is where I normally see marvel stuff first before i see it on like youtube or anything else uh that dropped and it's really getting me excited for captain marvel i mean i was already excited i'm a huge marvel fan so like uh i i'm all i'm always excited for whatever they want to release uh you know whether or not it's good that that will be decided after definitely um but I think that it has a lot of potential to, like, really, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know what, how to describe it, but, like, it'll, I feel like it'll have either the same impact or even better impact as Wonder Woman did, uh, when it got released. Then again, 
uh, knowing Marvel, it'll probably be way better. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll try not to be biased saying that, but truly, I think they're going to do a lot better job, especially with the writing. Warner Brothers doesn't have a good writing team, I don't, in my opinion, you know? Uh, even looking at Aquaman, uh, as much fun as it was, I, I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen, like, you know, I've seen, like, any free video that they've released, and I've seen clips on it that other people have, uh, uploaded to YouTube, and, I mean, the writing, just, like, how people speak, it's, like, really weird with, with all the DC Warner Brothers movies, um, damn, I think I'm gonna have to cut this podcast short, because my throat is not not like feeling good right now but anyways i'm pretty excited by you know like all of the marvel movies that might come out or that will be coming out uh definitely excited for endgame uh i don't know what other movies will be coming out in 2019 but bet that i'm going to be trying to watch them oh i think i think uh, Detective Pikachu's coming out this year, right? I think it's coming out in March, so I'm definitely going to be watching that. I'm definitely really excited about that. Uh, um, I mean, you know, I'm a freaking nerd, so I, I like Pokemon, and definitely excited to see, like, a Pikachu-Deadpool mix with Ryan Reynolds playing Pikachu, that's definitely going to be really fun. I'm de- I'm excited to see like the semi-real Pokemon like avatars because obviously you know they're not real or anything. But I wish they were real. Uh, I I'm definitely excited for that. Um, I don't know. Uh, to anyone that that's listening in, uh, what are your movies that you're looking forward to in 2019? I'm sure. Once I, like, stop recording and look online, I'm gonna be seeing, like, Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that one's coming out. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just drawing a blank right now. Definitely excited for a lot of video games, too, like Kingdom Hearts and, uh, what what's coming out And I think, oh, I think there is a Pokemon game coming out this year, right? Yeah. Uh, other games, I'm sure, are coming out. Oh, next week I could be talking about The Forest, which uh, me and my friends just started playing. Hopefully I'll get my friends on. We can keep talking about that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm going to be cutting this one yeah, This one short. Also got to freaking practice on my enunciation while I'm recording these podcasts. Um, but anyways... Uh, thank you for listening in. Thank you for watching if you're on YouTube. I don't have this on any other pra- platform uh, yet. Uh, I'm going to try to get it on SoundCloud, but I think you have to pay for SoundCloud like Pro to get like larger files onto SoundCloud. But I don't know. I'll try to see what I can do about that. I'll probably try to get this when when we get like larger uh like a larger audience, larger viewer base on the podcast. I'll probably try to get it on like iTunes or like something else, you know, something more legit. Um also I'm trying to get like a little jingle to play at the beginning because that's those are always like interesting to me like i love views like the views uh uh podcast with david dobrik and jason nash i love their ringtone like their 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 little jingle um ear biscuits i haven't really listened to ear biscuits in a while but um i think they have a jingle i know they have like a little intro in the beginning but i haven't listened to that podcast in a little bit uh, but I want a, I want a little jingle, you know? Um, 
So I'll try to get that by next week. I'll try to get my friends in next week. I'll try to do a lot next week. And in between now and the next week. Um, but yeah. Uh, to anyone listening, thank you for this. Any and all support is always appreciated. I always say that whether it's on on stream or in a YouTube video or even now on the podcast, thank you for watching because if you support this even just a little bit, even for like 10 minutes, you know, you don't you only listen into half of the podcast and you just completely never watch it ever again. Thank you because I I appreciate it because you took you know, even 10 minutes out of your life to, you know, to give it partly to me. And for that, I am grateful. So, uh, yeah, thank you. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.